Hey everybody! So I just wanted to do a really quick video today and show you guys something that um, I am really excited about. I bought it for myself for Christmas because that's what I do. Um, so it's the Morphe X Lisa Frank eyeshadow palette and brushes. So we're just going to do a little try on today. Um, just excuse the psoriasis and the zits. Just perfect time to do makeup, but you know, whatever. Oh my god, that is so cute. It's like a Trevor Keeper. Oh my god. I haven't even looked at this yet, by the way. Um, so that design is adorable. It's got a huge mirror. And lots of plastic and very bright colors so I don't know if these are gonna be everyday wear probably not but we're gonna have fun um, so let's open the brushes they come in this cute little like tubular makeup bag that that's not actually part of the design. It's just a cardboard like well that's disappointing. There we go. Oh, okay well we've got his cute little face on the end so I guess that's something. So we've got a lot of stuffing, some flavor packets, and some brushes. Those are cute. Look at the bright colors and the animal print. You gotta love it. So, I'm thinking a rainbow look would be cute. Can I pull it off? I don't know. I'm not a professional. So, I think we're just gonna play with some makeup and see what happens. Um, there's so many different shapes. Um, let's start with this one. So, these are Morphe brushes, I guess. I mean, it's Morphe for Lisa Frank. So, um, Morphe is supposed to be a really good brand. I don't think I've really tried anything from them before. Um, so we'll see. Where to begin? Where to begin? Um, do I really want to do like a red eyeshadow or like a bright pink? Hmm. We're going with this guy, whatever that color is. I'm not sure. We're going to start with that. Okay, so right off the bat, like, the pigmentation is not super impressive. A little weak. Hmm. I guess I was expecting since the colors 
are so bright. Um, that the pigment would just be like really densely packed. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but this is not giving me the results that I was hoping for. Although it is buildable, I guess. to another color. Um, so we're going to go for this one right here. Okay, that one seems a bit more pigmented and eh, maybe not maybe it's just darker so I feel like these kind of have the effect of like watercolor paints um, they just like to kind of run together and they're not like super pigmented, they're, it's just kind of like a wash of color. And it just kind of likes to travel. Huh. go for this funky green right here. Nope. We're going to try something different because that's not even showing up. Alright, I'm going to go for this. Okay, this eye is just a damn mess. I am very disappointed. This is not even cute. I don't even know if I can save this. Bruise. That's always cute. Yeah, it's really cute, huh, Pie Pie? And I'm making it worse. 
Okay. We're going to see if we can do a little cleanup. And we're going to try again. Okay, I think I've removed most of just the dark blue. It's still kind of there, but I'm going to try to cover it up with like a brighter blue. We'll see if that works. Because that dark blue just looked like I got freaking punched. We're going to go with that one right there. Let's see what that one does. Okay, I'm feeling that one. That's cuter. They don't even match though. It's just like a big watercolor mess. Alright. I need like a pop of yellow. So we're gonna do this one. The yellow one is the most pigmented of the ones that, that I've tried so far. Okay. Now, to round out the rainbow, let's try that green again. And this time it'll be an accent color. So. Maybe it'll look better as an accent. Blend it. So I am slightly disappointed with this. Um, I just kind of envisioned like really sharp, deeply pigmented colors and I just keep going back to that term watercolor. It just, it seems really um, light and kind of washed out. expecting. Um, that being said, I don't think it's terrible. It's just really not what I was expecting. 
Um, I mean, I think the colors are fun. Again, I don't think this is going to be like an everyday um, palette, you know, that I go for like when I'm getting ready for work. Um, but it's fun. And I don't think it was very expensive. I think it was like 30 bucks for the palette. The brushes, I can't remember how much the brushes were. Um, I'm just going to pop on like some eyeliner and mascara just to kind of finish the look. And I will be right back. Okay, so here's the final look. Um, and in case I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I think I did mention that I bought these for myself for Christmas, so that should kind of be a clue that this is not sponsored. Also, um, I am like so not even close to being an influencer, so like I'm not even YouTube famous, like nobody's sending me free stuff, so... Okay, we got that out of the way. Also, if I didn't show you guys, I'm totally wearing my Lisa Frank for Tora t-shirt. Okay, so um, let me just show you the final product. Um, I did some liquid eyeliner and some mascara. I feel like this eye turned out better than this eye, so we'll focus on this one. And then I did just a little bit of lipstick and lip gloss um, to kind of round out the whole rainbow look. Um, so final review, like I said, I'm a little disappointed, um, but it's not a terrible product. It's mostly fun. I mean, I didn't buy this expecting to wear it every day. I wasn't expecting it to be like... Um, a super duper luxurious, you know, like luxury brand. Although I was kind of under the impression that Morphe is more of the kind of higher end, like higher quality um, of cosmetics. But still, I wasn't expecting it to be like a super duper luxury product, especially for the price, like I said, $30. So, I mean, it is mostly for fun. Um, I'm loving this Trapper Keeper design. Basically, this is for, um, I guess, women like me who are like nostalgic over Lisa Frank. Um, but still, I was kind of hoping that the eyeshadows would be like less watercolory and more like pigmented I don't know anyways it's still a fun palette um, this is fun whatever it's not an everyday look I kind of already knew that but it is what it is it's cute I think they're still available if you want one they have like three different designs I think there's a unicorn and this one and something else. I don't know. Anyways, I think I got it on Ulta. Yeah, I think I got it on Ulta.com. Um, anyways, thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I hope you're having fun with makeup right now during this crazy time where it's kind of hard to get out and do stuff that's fun. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.